Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video. In today's video, we are going to be doing a task guide for Tarkov Shooter Part 3. This is a Jaeger task that requires you to get three kills with bolt action rifles under 25 meters. If this guide helps you out today, make sure you're leaving a like on the video. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's hop in. I got two methods for you guys today. Both are going to be including the Hollow Sun Reflex Sight. This is the most important part of the guide here today. It gets my task done every single wipe. We have a budget method and we have a little bit more of an expensive one tap method for you today. So let's go with the budget method first. We're going to be heading to Jaeger and picking up a VPO. It's going to run you 18,580 five rubles and uh we're gonna be picking up some extra mags i usually buy two extra mags which is gonna run you another 2.5k and then the ammunition for 50 rounds fmj is going to be about 2000 as well and then uh, it's gonna be 2250 and then the site combined you're looking at about 30 to 35k range to pick up everything for the kit that's not including a face mask so if you go ahead and buy a face mask you're gonna have 40k per run using the vpo method the next method is going to be with an m700 which you can also get from jaeger uh, you can buy one on barter i guess it's not buying but you're getting one for one beard oil and i think they're only like 30k yeah, so they're about 40,000 here. Uh, this is the one I'm going to use in the method here today. We're going to go ahead and pick up one of these. But, um, you know, you can use the VPO. I just think the VPO is really underpowered. All right, so we got our M700. The next thing we need to do is get this site on the M700. So now we're going to need a mount. You can just go ahead and buy the Weaver right here. Throw that on your M700. Throw that Hollow Sun on there. Next, we're going to be loading up the M700 with FMJ, and that might sound surprising. So the BCP FMJ rounds are right here. They're going to be 158 rubles per round. Really, to be completely honest with you, you only need like 25 rounds. You don't need to do anything crazy because I'm not going to be getting extra magazines. I am just going to be top loading the uh, M700 with the ammunition from our pockets. So the reason I like FMJs for this task is because if you hit somebody's thorax under 25 meters, they will die in one shot. You don't have to aim for the head or none of this other nonsense. And the penetration isn't horrendous on these rounds. It's 31. It's not the best round in the game, but it's certainly not bad. 31 pen with 88 damage. That is a pretty much guaranteed one shot on a lot of lower level players. Tarkov Shooter Part 3 is an early task in the game. We're about a month into wipe at the time of recording. So at the end of the day, man, now it might be a little bit tougher. But at the beginning of wipe, when you get this task... This round will take down PMCs in one shot to the chest. Now, there's another thing you can add to the M700 kit if you want. This is optional. You can add a flashlight. Do not add a laser. Like, do not add a blue laser because it will not line up. It will not be centered on the M700. It is, I think the laser is super, super high or super, super low. So you're either going to be shooting high or shooting low. I can't remember which one it is. But if you put a flashlight on here, then you can combine a little bit of a blinding effect to a PMC that's right up in your face. Completely optional for the video here today. We're not going to use it so you guys can see why we're using the Hollow Sun. But just know that a flashlight is optional on the M700. All right, so for the video here today, we are going to be heading in an offline raid versus scavs. But just know this is the way that I do this every single wipe, whether it's with the M700 or whether it is with the VPO. Does not matter. I do it the same exact way every single wipe. I'll put my personal guarantee on it that you will get it done with this method. Um, so like I said, we're going to be heading in an offline raid just so I can record the content, make sure it's done right, and not have to worry about rebuying kits and any other variables that might come into play. Let's hop in an offline raid. Let me show you why the hollow sun's good. Let's one tap some scabs. All right, man, we're in raid. And the reason we're using the hollow sun is because it actually has an accurate laser on it. So when we aim down sight... Hit your alt and then hit your right click and that laser is going to come on. Now don't get me wrong, this is not a bright laser, but you don't need a super bright laser when you're under 25 meters. You can see where this laser is right now, at least I can, maybe YouTube compression is going to chalk it a little bit, but I can see roughly where this laser is on the wall in front of me and I'll zoom in right here. Hopefully you guys can see it on the wall. It's very faint, but it gets the job done and when we ADS, this is going to be lined up perfectly. As I said, you cannot put a laser on that laser mount on the M700. You can put a flashlight, it'll get the job done, but the laser 
will not line up correctly unless it's fixed but i don't think it's fixed at least from my knowledge so now we are going to just w key with the m700 and we are going to use the green laser to allow us to aim for the thorax and get the one tap kills with the fmj rounds all this combined should make this task pretty easy for you obviously if people are camping holding angles you know whatever the case may be you're probably going to get dunked on. It is what it is. Just requeue. And, um, you know, if you start having a lot of bad raids, that's when the VPO has got to come out. You can do the same thing with the uh, Hollow Sun. I hear you. I mean, that right there is exactly how you do it. Required no effort at all. Just, he ran at us. Just like a PMC would, really, actually. And gets one-tapped in the chest. It doesn't mean you can't ADS, either. Like, you can ADS if you can hit your thorax shot with, you know, the sight. Then even better, I guess. But... This guy is coming up. I missed. See a little ADS? We'll ADS him down the hallway. That might have actually been a stomach shot. That might have been an arm shot. I don't know. He's dead. Regardless. He died in two shots. He might have had armor. Nah, I definitely shot him in the stomach then. But yeah, man. Basically, the hollow sun is the key to getting it done, in my opinion. Uh, the hip fire really really is what gets this task done for me every single way hope this guy's not above just like that so all you have to do you just gotta do that to a pmc Let's see if we get one more might be pushing my luck guy's armor so if they have a good armor just you know hit him with another shot and they'll go down that was an arm shot hit him again now he's dead hollow sun gets it done man not every shot's gonna be a perfect one and if they have armor that's just a variable you can't account for but truthfully this is the site that gets it done it's what always has worked for me Another arm shot. That was a miss. That was a stomach shot. That was just him fucking tanking. I just got my guy got a Thor armor or something on. Hey man, you know, there's variables. I can't account for all of them, but that's the guide for today. Same thing goes for the VPO. Literally the exact same thing. Just use the hollow sun and um you know, aim when you have to, or if you need to, but the hip fire is nice, man. Right there, you can see that laser right by the technical supply crate. I mean, it goes a good bit, and uh, it gets the job done, especially on factories. So, guys, make sure you drop that like, subscribe, sponsor an equipment description below. It's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm out.